Sean Strickland, who is known for crazy sparring sessions, recently trained with UFC light heavyweight contender Johnny Walker. The two did some sparring at Overcome Academy in Las Vegas. Here's the footage. You know, I need to say some real today. Like the world makes you feel so inadequate. I scroll through my Instagram feed and I see everybody driving nice cars, you know, showing off their lives. And I just want you guys to remember one thing, dude. We're all worthless and if there's a hell most of us are going to it so don't try so hard i fucking hate when people call me and like the first thing they say is a question like hello are you sean strickland why don't you tell me who the fuck you are before i go out and give out my information all right why don't you be up front i'm nobody Marvin Vittori and Sean Strickland have occasionally been training together for a few years now. Speaking to Anthony Smith and RJ Clifford on SiriusXM Fight Nation 156, Vittori explained why Strickland got kicked out of King's MMA and recalled one wild sparring session. Here's the clip. It's funny because me and Sean go back a while ago and actually, you know, like one time. So this is almost a couple years ago because we go back a while and... Um, we spar, and then I always tell him like, "We don't have, but you know, because sometimes, because I know, I know he knows to spar well, because that's all he does. He doesn't really train technique; he just spars. So somebody <laughs> that just spar will know how to spar. <laughs> no, no, that's how he is. It's like uh, I'm like, bro, like I've been doing this for like 15 years. Like if you, if you want to teach me something, show him, show him, in, uh, show me in sparring. Otherwise, don't, don't, don't even bother. You know that that's how he thinks. But so, you know, we're, we're sparring and uh, we're, we're doing, I'm doing well and this and that. And then the third round, the last 30 seconds, that's when he always gets crazy a little bit. And he comes in and he starts swinging and I'm like, so I missed the swing, you know? And and he's like, he comes in with the head, with the head, boom, cuts me. I'm like, mother, I told you not to headbutt. I didn't do it on purpose. Like, you did it because I know you know how to spar and you still went in with the head. I'm like, you shouldn't put your head down. I'm like, I took off my gloves to go to him punch him without, without no gloves. And we're in the middle of a UFC gym. Also, because he got kicked out of, of the gym from Kings, basically, because of all the screaming and shit. Now, he was never a Kings. He's a, he's a lone okay. wolf, you know, but he was coming yeah. to spar. You know, he started talking. I started talking. And then, and then so he's like, nah, this can happen in the gym. And so they kicked him out. And I mean... On Tuesday, BKFC confirmed the signing of former UFC welterweight Mike Perry via a press release. According to the release, Perry signed a multi-fight deal with the promotion, but details of the contract were not released. Shortly following the announcement, Perry posted this to his Instagram and wrote, I joined Bare Knuckle FC to punch people in the face for tons of cash. Perry then continued with, Let's skip all the formalities. This sport is evolving and I am here to strike fear into the hearts of my competitors. I plan to intimidate the world when I show what a truly skilled combat specialist is capable of with his bare hands. 
I will dismantle the opposition and reach the glory I have longed for my entire life. I will be crowned king of the streets and king of combat sports. They will make me a platinum crown and carry me on the bloody backs of my defeated rivals. I am here to go straight to the top and make anyone think twice about entering my world. Hashtag blood sport dreams and nightmares. If you saw the news or not, but they released it and your boy is the newest bare knuckle boxing champ, baby. Dope ass stuff for like uh, my fight shorts and my shoes and like my walkout gear and my sponsors, bitch, so hit me up. Perry also recently posted some new training videos as he prepares for his BKFC debut. Here's the footage. During a recent DWCS press conference, UFC President Dana White was asked about Perry leaving UFC and signing with BKFC. Here's what he had to say about it. Uh, we had some surprise news with Mike Perry today that he's joining uh, Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. So I just want to ask you about that. Was that a situation where he was already a free agent or did he come to you guys and ask for a release? How, how did that all play? Yeah, no. Yeah, he, he, his contract had expired. Um, Mike Perry is a fun fighter. I mean, he's, he's had so many fun fights here and, um, you know, I wish him the best. Corey Sandhagen is scheduled to fight Petr Jan at UFC 267 this Saturday. Before that, he suffered a submission loss to Aljamain Sterling at UFC 250 and a split decision loss to TJ Dillashaw at UFC Vegas 32 on July 24th, 2021. Speaking to the media during UFC 267's pre-fight press conference, Sandhagen explained who he'd like to face next if he beats Petr Jan this weekend. Here's the clip. Rematch. If you win this title, you're either going to fight Aljamain, rematch, or TJ, rematch. Is this one of the upsides to this fight? Yeah, yeah it would be beautiful for it to work out that way. Um, uh, I, I think that uh, it, it just sucks having those two L's on my record. You know, one, because the Sterling fight was just like shitty and embarrassing for me, you know? And then, uh, so I would definitely like to show that I'm definitely better than that guy, you know? And, and I had a night that just wasn't good. Um, and then same with TJ, where it's like, I, I lost a decision that was, you know, this close. and. Uh, if I'm being honest, probably could have gone either way. I definitely walked out of that cage a lot less beat up than TJ did, so it makes you, you know, feel a little bit weird about that. But, uh, no, nah, man, I think it'd be beautiful if I get to avenge those two losses um, just right away after being the champ. And then I think that that will even speak more to, uh, to how good I am uh, in the sport also. The Aljamain loss was way sh more shit. Um, the TJ one was a little bit easier of a pill to swallow just because I know that I beat him up and he didn't beat me up, you know. Uh, that makes it a little bit easier of a pill to swallow, but it still sucks losing. You still lose just as much sleep that night. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.